Hi, this is Mike Rogers with Xenos. Today I'd like to go over how to configure thresholds. If you've never configured a threshold before, you can think of them as boundaries on performance metrics. If your CPU utilization goes too high, or if the free space on a hard drive goes too low, you might like to know about it. When one of these configured boundaries is crossed, an event is generated. This event can be seen by your operators in the event console, or it can trip a trigger notification pair to notify interested parties, or even take some remediation steps. Today we'll be creating a threshold on the root file system component of our test device. Here, you can see that the file system has been modeled with a total size of 13.42 gigabytes and is approximately 13% used. If we take a look at the template, we'll see that there are currently no configured thresholds and that the size is calculated by pulling the used blocks SNMP OID. The first thing we'll do when creating a new threshold is create a local copy of the template. This will allow us to test in isolation so that any mistakes made during the process don't result in an event flood and we don't wake any sleeping sysadmins. The Create Local Copy button is now grayed out to indicate that we're working with a copy of the template and not the original. Next, we'll hit the plus button to add a threshold. Give it a descriptive name like 90% utilized and choose the min-max threshold type. There are other threshold types, but min-max is by far the most common. Click Add, and we'll have a threshold. Except that the threshold doesn't do anything yet, as it doesn't have any values. Let's finish setting up our threshold now. The Edit Threshold window has additional fields that we can configure. We can provide a more detailed description like This file system is nearing capacity. Please take action to correct this. The explanation and resolution fields can be configured to provide additional instructions to operators or links to internal resources like a knowledge base or wiki. In this component template, there is only one data point available to us. We'll select Use Blocks and continue setting up our threshold. A disk full scenario is more dangerous than just a mere warning, so we'll set the severity to error. We'll set the event class to something more appropriate, like per file system. And we'll leave the escalate count alone for now, but you can configure it to raise the severity of an event after it is incremented several times. Finally, we'll decide on the maximum value we want to set. Since we don't want to look up the total blocks for every file system on every device and set a threshold against 90%, we'll let Resource Manager do it for us. Since the value fields are evaluated as Python language, we can call an attribute or method of the file system component and take 90% of that. We'll start with here, which in this case is the component object. If we were doing this on a device level template, here would indicate the device object instead. Then we'll use the get total blocks method of the file system component. Our max value is now the full size of the root file system, but we'd like to have our event before it's full. Since we're looking for 90%, we'll multiply the total blocks by point nine. And there you have it. You've created a threshold against the root partition of a Linux device. But what if you want to test it before recreating this threshold on the original template? Let's take a look at how that file system is doing. We're still around 12 to 13 percent. So let's lower our threshold below that. We'll go back to templates and double click our threshold again. Now, we'll set the max value for 
of the total blocks and save our changes. Let's go to the events page for the device and wait for our event. And there we go. Our event has come in showing that the 90% utilized threshold has been exceeded. So we've created our threshold, we've confirmed its operation. We can now go back and set the correct 90% value, save it, and let our new threshold do its work. If we're confident in the threshold we've configured, we can apply it to the original template and then delete our local copy. For more information, you can consult the Resource Manager Administration Guide. Thank you very much for watching, and have a nice day.